everybody this is Bosnia Fighter here with the weekly astrological forecast or message for the week between the 23rd and the 30th of May 2020 <clears throat> now um, I know that we've been feeling the higher pace with all this Gemini energy in the sky it's been feeling like been we've been running around lately and a much faster pace, certainly much faster pace than we have in the last three months. The good news is that this pace is going to quieten down um, and take a much slower, more intimate kind of rhythm. The not so good news is that this is again a prime time for diseases or uh, plagues or for a second wave of corona and it will become more so as we head into the end of June and beginning of July but it is already I hope that nothing serious is going to happen but we can certainly see that this is taking longer in some countries than in others this is still sweeping through populations now in Russia and in uh, the United States, of course, and in Brazil. And the situation isn't good there. And I'm talking about all this Gemini energy squaring Neptune in Pisces. This week, however, has a very special energy. It has a very special energy that is very good for emotional communication, for a communication of love, a creative energy that stems out of the heart and out of love. This is a week in which the Earth, the Moon, Venus and Mercury align in one line. Let's see a picture of it. And this alignment can give the energies of these celestial bodies and what this signifies, emerging, it turns them into a soup. And in a way, we have to remember that all of this is squaring Neptune. So in a way, <clears throat> if we choose to make long-term important strategic decisions now we have to be careful we have to be careful to be realistic enough we have to be careful to be practical enough we have to be able to see the whole picture and not have our pink shades on because we can at the moment another possible outcome is that we are overwhelmed we want to become more reclusive and turn back into our cocoon and we wish that maybe corona was here again so we wouldn't have to run around and do everything we need to do and be back in this rat race that we're in and we want to be at home with family and with our own inner development like we were in the last three months we understand some of the value that this time has given us and in a way the time coming as we're heading back into a watery cancer energy in the sky beginning with mercury going into cancer by the end of this week bringing us all into a much slower pace it would be in on thursday the 28th some places it could be as early as the 27th and it will give us about a month that would be more about internal, emotional, intimate, familial achievements rather than the exterior, outside, arbitrary, unknown world. Achievements in the arbitrary, unknown, adult world, outside. Inner achievements, intimate achievements, emotional achievements, familial achievements stand in a greater, higher pedestal at this time. 
and taking a slower pace but nevertheless utilizing your imagination utilizing creativity utilizing spirituality utilizing your imagination visualizing a way to better navigate this world and create in it and talk and communicate with one another from a place of love and communion you know a brotherhood Gemini a brotherhood is important and beneficial at this time <laughs> um, so Saturday the 23rd mm, be careful not to get agitated with the moon squaring Mars uh, the moon in Gemini squaring Mars Sunday the 24th conjunction between moon and Venus and then moon and moon and Mercury begins this very special and Gemini energy this alignment I was talking about before and then on Monday the 25th we have Mars sextile Uranus that gives a power blast to this week you know it gives us the need to step ahead and very little tolerance it gives us more impatience and more impulsivity and a juvenile spirit, our male side in each and every one of us, grows stronger and more intolerant. We demand change. So socially, we could see more people grabbing out to the streets, demanding change. And we could be demanding change in our lives as well. But please, heighten your tolerance both towards yourselves and others. Be careful from getting agitated and combative, which is unnecessary, really. It's separative again. And this could separate us from friends, or it could draw us to meet new people and new groups as well. 25th is also sensitive because the moon will square Chiron, it's a moon in Cancer, so especially with family members, children, parents. Tuesday the 26th, very imaginative um, and, and kind of a lower pace on that day. Not a good day to utilize your front frontal cortex, your left brain, more so of an imaginative and, and spiritual energy to that day. Wednesday the 27th, however, is a bit obsessive, a bit judgmental, and there could be a lot of issues of honor, respect versus freedom that can come up with either authority figures or family members or bosses and stuff so step lightly friends on Wednesday the 27th Tuesday the 28th now I want to re remind you that time can vary I'm talking in Eastern European time that means that if you are in the United States you have to take it about nine hours ahead um, nine hours back I'm sorry nine hours back if you're in the East Coast nine hours back okay uh, and if you are in the uh, Pacific, you have to take it about 9 or 10 hours ahead. So, um, Friday the 29th, beautiful day for emotional communication. Just over this weekend, Saturday as well, don't be too critical. Uh, lessen your criticism. And especially on the 30th, watch male-female relationships and just not being aggressive or intolerant or bitter. <laughs> um, yeah, wash these off. I want to remind you that I've decided not to take up my prices for now. And I'm doing great with that. I don't want to take up my prices, but you can utilize me. Readings and courses are 40% off through Zoom. And I would love to hear from you. I want to thank you for spreading these and commenting on them. It makes them spread to more people. 
may you all, may us all, may we all live long and prosper. Amen. Bye-bye.